little bit of a um, splurge. I love body oils and I feel like I love scents even for just around the house. Like, yeah, I want to smell fucking good. All right, I'm gonna make tea. I'm so happy because I still have a couple sachets of like this fam this tea that's so good. It's by this company, We Spill the Tea. It's a tropical pineapple and it's caffeine free herbal. And it's nice because it's like fruity. All right, and then I have my like honey, my little honey pot here. give me any cutlery but thankfully I have chopsticks in my car like a bad bee ready to eat at any time okay I'm just like I gotta do this with two hands I put up my protectors all around I just prefer privacy also it's like really fucking hot so I was like okay I need to like close everything up whoa 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 I'm so ready to get a little bite of you. No. No. It's so good. So the poke ended up being so spicy. Like, I feel like my lips even look a little bit more red right now. My eyes were watering, my nose was red. Like, where am I gonna get water? Because if I try to go to the store, it's just gonna take so long to like park and get in there. So I was like, oh, I should go to a Starbucks. And I looked it up, and there's one in the Macy's that I'm outside of. So I just went in there, and I got a dragon drink, fruit, coconut milk. It's so good. Oh. I mean, you know, I look very indulgent, but it's just because I was so tired. And I was like, when I'm tired, I'm like, I just need whatever's going to make me feel good. Starbucks are really the ones that are everywhere and like I make coffee at home a lot um, but sometimes I just don't have the energy and like their coffee be hitting a little bit different so I love building my drinks on the apps because then you can put how like you want it exactly how you want it with however many sweeteners so I just got an oat milk ice latte also I love Duncan because they don't charge extra for their oat milk but i got that with pumpkin and like the pumpkin's like a flavor pump that has like sweetener in it so i did like half the amount of the pumpkin shots and then you can add like unsweetened flavored shots so i added coconut and it's like it's so f like it's massive and i probably <laughs> hopefully won't drink this all in one day oh and i also specified light ice and like it's to the top which I used to work at Dunkin', so like I already know light ice means you get a bigger drink. Like this drink is enormous. That's the amount I've had, and I'm already feeling so hyper. Yay! I won't be able to see it because this camera's so freaking bad at zooming in. Um. I got my nails done like a while ago now. It had to be at like the beginning of August. And 
It was so bad. I just have been having such a hard time finding a good salon, honestly. Like this one, I had called and made an appointment. I got there on time. They had somebody else waiting. Like they were just not ready to see me at that time. They're the type of place that when you're like, hey, like, do you have availability? They're like, pick a color. But then they're not going to tell you how long it is. It just happens at some places. And it just to me is like you're trying to fit in as many people as possible. I was so like unhappy with my nails there and then. But first of all, like I'm a really shy person. It's like super difficult for me to like say, hey, I'm not happy with this. So I didn't say anything and just took, went home. So like a couple of the nails, like I had gotten acrylic dip, so you know they have to like smooth it out and then they put like top coat on it. So it wasn't really smoothed out and some of them were like really bumpy. And so I said something, I was like, hey, these look really bumpy. Like the top coat didn't get all the way to the edges. And he put gel top, gel top coat, which ended up coming off in a couple days, which I kind of feel like he knew it was going to come off. He just like wanted to get me out of there. So that was on Friday. And by Monday, I was like, okay, these are really bad. Like, I just want you to take them off free of charge. And he was like, no, I'm not going to take them off. Or like, I will take them off if that's what you ultimately decide. But like, let me try to fix it. So I was like, okay, fine. So I went and he did fix them and they looked okay. But overall, like, I just feel like it wasn't, like, healthy for my nails. Like, I'm seeing little, like, divots where the bottoms of my nails were, which just tells me he, like, sanded down, like, kind of where my cuticles were a little bit too much. And now I'm honestly just traumatized. Like, I don't want to go to the nail place. Like, the other nail salon that I had been going to before, I liked the work that they were doing, but it wasn't sanitary. There was a lot of stuff that I saw that bothered me, and I had asked about it, and then they were like, oh, well, for you, for you, we'll get a new towel. And I was like, no, 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 for every customer, you get a new towel. Like, what the hell? But anyway, the woman that I had been going to ended up leaving there, so I saw that as my opportunity to try somewhere new. Little did I know, it would actually be worse. So alas, here I am. I'm just trying to sand my nails down with a buffer to try to get them all smoothed out, to try to get rid of some of that ridge that was created. And then I'm going to put some of this Ella and Mila nail strengthener. I have these moments where my nails get so rough. I'm like, oh, I can just ignore them. I can ignore them for a little bit. Like, they'll be fine. But... Yeah, my nails just impact my emotional state of mind.